of cranking down the AC for this afternoon. Humidity taking a step back. A good chunk of the upper Midwest high plains were all clear. We're still tracking a little bit more cloud coverage just skirting across our southernmost communities. But check out these numbers all across the region from uh, for, we're looking at temperatures maintaining in the lower 80s, upper 70s in many locations. 83 degrees our warmer spot here in Omaha. And again, if you have plans to maybe head down to the first afternoon game, Aggies and Sooners around 1 o'clock. We're still tracking mostly sunny skies. Temperatures approaching the upper 80s. A ton of sunshine by this evening. Not as humid. Temperatures again approaching uh, uh, afternoon high temperatures of 89 degrees, 88 around 6 o'clock for the Razorbacks and Rebels game for later on this afternoon and evening. Getting deeper into the evening throughout the overnight, still tracking a few clouds sticking around. That's going to keep our temperatures somewhat on the mild side, but a comfortable and gorgeous start for early Thursday morning. Mid 60s for most of us, 67 degrees out in York, 68 for a morning low. In Lincoln, Thursday morning, we're waking up in the mid 60s here in Omaha around 7 o'clock, 68 degrees, mid to upper 70s by your 9 o'clock hour. Smooth sailing as we get closer to the afternoon hours for your Thursday. Now, pretty similar numbers to what we experienced for this afternoon when it comes to afternoon highs for your Thursday. A ton of sunshine, but the biggest difference. Yeah, that summer like humidity is going to be sneaking back in with dew points approaching the upper 60s and lower 70s. So 87 degrees for afternoon high here in Omaha, 88 for a Thursday afternoon high in Columbus, lower 90s to Kama. Carol, 89 degrees for a high temperature. Most of the daylight hours appears to be on a drier side. However, our next best chance of showers and thunderstorms will be arriving deeply into the evening, nightly hours for early th for late Thursday and early Friday. Here it is around 1 a.m. Our next best chance of showers and storms will be arriving here in the metro area as we get close to the pre-dawn hours for early Friday morning. By the time we're waking up, most of the activity is pushed out of here. So many storms as we get close to late Thursday and early Friday could be packing a punch, especially in our far southwesternmost communities. Storm Prediction Center maintaining a marginal to slight risk, large hail, damaging wind gusts, and also isolated tornadoes and another marginal risk for Friday evening. So we have two impact days to worry about. We're looking at a chance of showers and storms again late Thursday and early Friday. Then Friday, that is what I really have my eyes set on. Another chance of showers and storms, but that's going to be associated with our next major cold front. Major cool down just in time for this upcoming weekend. A little bit of sprinkles, but a high temperature of 82 degrees. Check out Sunday. Peaks of sunshine, double sevens, our favorite degree. All right, Anthony.